Okay guys, I got all my injectors in, except for number three, and I left that one out because I want to show you something. So here it is, let's go back to the injector. So here's the number three that I left out, and the reason why I left it out is because a lot of people will say to put this bolt in all the way which is this one the little one and then the other one and tie them to nine foot pounds so what I do on most of the ones I do see this right here this is a gap it goes like this this right here sets on the injector and the holds it down so I would like to leave the same distance or the same or the same space right here and right here in other words make this one so it's the same the same distance that's what I do because I would like to I don't like to see that like this or like that when I'm done with them so if you can make it so it's even it's better so let me show you how to install this ones okay here is the injector so what we do is just slowly lower it down make sure you don't trap the cable right there okay so it's right there and remember the pry bar that we used to remove them that's the same pry bar we're gonna use to push them down and right here on this housing there's a little rib right here that you can use or right here to push them down so what you do is just line it up so the bolts, the holes on that injector are lined up with the bolts down there. And what you're going to do is push slowly down. You see it went down a little. Then go to the other side and just press slowly. And there went. And you're probably going to have to line it up again. But that's how you do it. So then you can uh, try to tie those bolts even at 9 foot pounds. And let's finish installing all the bolts and connecting all the injectors. And then we'll put the valve cover back on. Uh, we're going to change the oil on this one and also we're going to flash the cooling system just to get all the fuel contamination out of there. So I'll finish this and I'll start it and I'll show you how it runs.